With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is the standard electrode potential E0 and its temperature coefficient D E0 by DT for a cell at 2 volt and minus 5 into 10 power minus 4 volt per Kelvin at 300 Kelvin respectively. So uh, the cell reaction is ZN. The cell reaction is so the cell reaction will actually be equal to ZN plus Cu plus 2 gives ZN plus 2 plus C, right? This will be the cell reaction that is given to you in the question. Okay, so this is the cell reaction. The standard enthalpy delta H0 at 300 Kelvin in kilojoule per mole is, so you have to find out the value of uh, uh, delta H here, right? And the value of R you have to use as 8 joule per Kelvin and the value of F that you have to use is 9600 coulomb per mole. So they are given these values that you have to use for simplification of the calculations. Okay. Now, if we talk about delta H, then delta H now gives free energy. Delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta F. So, basically, if I talk about delta H, that will be equal to delta G plus T delta S. So, if I find out the value of delta G and T delta S, I can find out the value of delta H. Okay. So, now delta G will be equal to minus nf of e naught cell now as we are talking in the standard terms we can also write it like this okay so delta g naught will be minus nf e naught cell now in this reaction two electron changes involved because when zn will convert to zn plus 2 it will uh, lose uh, it will lose two electrons and when cu will gain two electrons then it will become Cu so basically two electron changes present here so n is equal to 2 okay so this will be minus 2 into 9 6 triple 0 the Faraday constant and the E0 cell is equal to 2 right which means that this will be equal to minus 384 kilojoule right minus 384 kilojoule will be the, the kilojoule per mole right this will be the value of delta G0 Okay, now if we talk about delta S, right, delta S naught can be calculated as NF DE naught by DE. Okay, so this is the formula that we use to calculate the value of delta S. Okay, so here you have the values, you have all the values with you. N is equal to 2, F is 9, 6, triple 0 into uh, what is the value of uh, de naught by dt given to you in the question minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 right so from here the value of delta s naught will come out to be equal to 96 so this will be 96 joule per mole okay this value is going to come out to be in joule per mole now you have to calculate the value of delta h and as we discussed delta h is going to be delta g plus t delta s now uh, delta h will be now delta g is minus 384 kilojoule per mole but we will have to convert it into uh, joules right we can convert it into joules so this will be 384 thousand plus the temperature is 300 kelvin the value of delta s is 96 so delta h will come out to be minus 4128 joule per mole approximately this will be the value of your uh, delta h but you have to convert the delta h into kilojoule so this will be around minus 412.8 kilojoule per mole and this will be the value of your delta H or you can write it as delta H naught as well. Okay. So this is the correct answer for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.